Hey everyone, this is Shireen, and this is a video response to Sybil B's Show Us Your Markers Giveaway Challenge. Sybil asks that we share the markers that we're using and show our storage and so forth. And you will be entered into her um, giveaway where you have the opportunity to win $50 worth of Copic markers from Carpe Diem um, website. So I am going to share my markers. And they don't have to be Copics, but um, she says share, share what it is that you use for coloring in your images and so forth. So this is my marker collection, and I'll start with my storage, which is basically a cheap little $2 uh, CD case that I found at Goodwill, and I just cleaned it up real good, and I bought some jewel cases and spaced them out really well and put my markers in. Uh-oh. So it was a really cheap storage solution. And then I just wrote the name of the markers on each of the little papers inside. And I was coloring in the squares next to them, or rectangles, but I realized I was just wasting ink when I can clearly see what colors they are from the tips of the markers. Okay, so I stopped that. Um, so the markers that I use are Spectrum Noir, and I do have them all, uh, which is a smaller collection of colors um, compared to Copic, but they do well for me. So I have them um, by color families here. And just to show you how they turn out in a comparison to Copic, here's a couple of um, things I colored in. Um, th this I thought that one came out really cute. This one was cute until I accidentally spilled on it. And you can see his jeans are starting to fade out, uh, which is actually not so bad had it been on the knees. It would remind me how boys wear their pants out, you know. And then there's this little guy. And there was a little Cub Scout there. And you can ignore all the color. I was testing colors. So that was just a practice page. So I have my uh, um, Spectrum Noirs. Down here are my favorite Castell um, Gelato pens, and I have a variety of color families. I keep them band banded together so I won't mix up the color families. Um, so both of these are Spectrums. Over here is my very, very small Copic collection. If you want to call that a collection, I have actually only seven. And I got these from Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance last summer for I think they were right under three dollars or right at three dollars something like that and that was all they had so I grabbed what I saw um, then I have the Copic um, at you speak of glitter pens I have a few of those and then these next three rows are markers I just found at Tuesday morning when all their clearance stuff was already marked down 50 percent there was additional 60 percent off of that so these end up being like a dollar per pack or right, so they're um, stamp markers and they're dual tipped so I grabbed all the colors that they had. I haven't had a chance to play with these yet. Um, and then down here I have some precision marker, pen, I mean precision pens for me when I write my um, sentiments in. Some gel pens. These are my Murphy markers. And these are actually what I began painting with or coloring with. I would take my rubber stamps and color directly onto the stamp when I was doing flowers. Spritz it with water, then stamp it onto the paper. And it gave some really beautiful, vibrant flowers, which is what I was making at the time. So those are my markers. And then um, over here is where I keep all of my acrylic blocks. And then because I use the spectrums, um, I've been collecting the inks, the refills. Because I think on the website they're like $6, $7. But Joanne's every now and again have them for $3.50, I think. So every time I have a little extra money, I'll grab a few refills. So that's what all those are. And that's pretty much it. So that is my stamp collection. I mean, my not stamp collection, my uh, markers. Stamp collection is a whole other video because I have gone crazy with stamps. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll show my stamps in another video right after this one. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. I am going to put Sybil's information down below in the description box if you would like to join her challenge. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.